Happy New Year. Happy New Year. 2022. Another year went by. Uh, today's video, we're going to be unboxing generator. Right? We're going to unboxing the generator that uh, has delivered the other day. So last time from previous video, if you've follow, been following us, we bought the propane tank and had it filled up. Now, this is the generator that we got um, that we'll be using the propane that we have. Um, it's the Westinghouse. The one thing that I like about this is it's smart idle and it's running on gasoline at 12,000 watts and peak at 15,000. But if you are running on propane, I believe it says right here, running is at uh, 10,800 and a peak watt is 13,500. So in this video today, we'll be unboxing this bad boy right here. So follow us step by step and maybe if we could assemble all together as well. And if we have time, we can- uh, I don't know how to assemble this. But I do. Good thing you have me. And then maybe if we have time, we can also try to test run if possible as well. See yeah. how it works. Oh, oh there's a picture. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's awesome. a picture right here. So let me grab my knife. Actually, you know what? Here, but you can have this knife and cut those uh, bands right there. But uh, you know how to work that knife? Let me step away. Let me step away. Oh my god. How do you cut? Pull it out. Oh my god, this is... <sighs> I don't know let, what I'm let, doing. Let, let me do this. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, careful. I didn't do it either! <laughs> Professional my butt. Very well uh, attached. Well, I got this little... Uh, what is that? Like, it's like a handsaw. What the hell? It's a multi-tool. It has like a hand saw. Maybe this will do a better job of cutting it. Wow. <laughs> so it came, I think it probably screw into this um, pallet right here. So I think if we lift this thing up, we'd be able to just lift it right off. Right, babe? I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, got, I mean, I am the one with the muscles, so. Yeah, you want to put the camera down and you Lift it together. Sure. And guys, while you're at it, you want to guess what in that little thing right there? Put down a comment below to see what you uh, think it is in there because that's going to be unboxing next in the next video. If you hear somebody screaming in the background, nobody's killing anyone. It's just snowflakes. My dog. Inside. Because he wants the attention. So anyway. He's screaming inside. You lift one side, I lift one side. Just a box of stuff with me. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Is it moving? Wait. Is it moving? Is it moving? Oh. There it is. Wow, it's huge, huh? That's what she said. <laughs> That's big. I like the thing. Yeah. I have no idea. Wow. Oh, it has a, um, it's in the car, it has a push start button. Of course it has oh, a push so start fun. button. Oh, that's so fun! I have no idea what all these are, but like, I have this in my car. <laughs> that's all I know. Well, I have this in my generator. That's so cool! So, it's kind of what you can see, there's a battery right here. I think it's a battery. God, I need a tool for these kind of things. Okay. Oh, wow. I, I have no idea, but I'm just... And then this the options. I think this is for fuel. And how do we figure out how do we use propane for it? Uh, oh, my... Uh. What's that, a wheel? So this one is a small engine oil, four-stroke, 10 w 30 oil. And also, as you hear about... Like, yeah. I think... We might not be able to start test start this today because I think I need to read the instruction how to use these things before I oh ruin the machine. Oh my gosh, and what a fail. This is a wheel. Where's the other one? Uh, maybe in there somewhere? Where's there another wheel? Possibly in here? Oh, right here, I found it, found it. Right over here. 
This is another camera two view. Wow. So we're gonna view this up. Let me see. What a setup you got here, huh? So this is just solid plastic wheel. I think it might be formed inside this wheel. It's not like one of those where you have to pump oh. in air at all. Yeah. All right, so it came with two wheels. I'm trying to get this thing up. Okay, here we go. Honestly, I don't know what the hell these are. I don't know. Oh, okay. It came with this thing. I'm not quite sure where it goes yet. It's like a crossbar. Yeah. And... A we have a little funnel. I think this funnel might be for oil. And we have the connector. Yep, the connector for the, the uh, propane right here. So this one... Okay, I, I think I figured it out. This one, I'm gonna go right in here. Where it's supposedly going to. So this thing, you can pull it out. Oh. This guy gonna go right here. Like that. I'm not quite sure if you need some kind of threat to like um, tighten this thing at all. I have to look up in the menu. So you tie it up, and this end right here, you connect to the um, propane tank. And this is how you run it. This one, honestly, I don't know what this is for. I don't know. Guys, either. if you have one, just let me know what this is. Because I haven't read the menu yet. I want to say it's a drain line for the oil. I do want to say it's a drain line for the oil. But I'm not quite sure. What else does it have in the back? All right. In the back we have... Oh, okay, the wrench, the tools. To tighten and untighten. Fancy. Another one. Fancy coloring. Yeah, so I guess this... We use these to... I don't know, tighten something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> these are all foreign to Fun. me as well. So knowledgeable. <laughs> all right, so to put these... Lift bar together. I'm gonna line this little hole and then screw this thing in. To tighten up these. Right there, perfect, you know. I tried. Oh. See how you work the tools. Yeah, not too tight now we'll do the other side so like it won't cross thread. Uh, how do you do this? No, same thing, yeah, like that. There you go. Yeah, what's it? So here we go. Push start. We have... A th I think this one, when you turn it on, it indicates with the battery. You choose the option between gasoline or propane. This one you're gonna have like a USB 5 volt to charge when this thing is running. Um, this one is a 50 amp to connect with the uh, 50 amp inlets, 30 amp, and this one is regular outlets, 120 volts, 20 amp, 20 amp outlets. It's over here. Also, same thing, 120 volt, 20 amp outlet. It's GFCI outlet. Dual fuel, awesome. On the side right here, we have the exhaust. Let's say hot. And up top here it has the instructions. Gasoline. Fuel, propane, run, start. I think the handle came with this thing right here. Why would you lift it up? 
and then you put this pen in here. Oh, it's not a whistle. Stay like that. So what is the handle for? To push it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, to push it to wherever you want it to go. Hmm. Oh, I get it. Okay. Even if you knock this thing off, it won't fall off. Because it's actually standing on here. Mm. Yeah. But, no, like it will because you need the wheel for that front thingy. Eh? Bye, so that's it for the video for this week. <laughs> Until we're able to get this thing off and assemble all together. How are you gonna get it off? Who are you put? Are you gonna get a friend? No, we're gonna figure out something else. Oh heavens! Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the pallets, both pallets, are not attached to one another, so that's a good thing. So what we can do is scooch it on. This yeah, side. scooch it onto the side. So let me load the handle up. Trying to move your leg away in case the stomach thing is dropping. So what we do? Stand down here. Let's stand down here. We're gonna pull to the side a little bit first, okay? Pull to the side. Okay. Like, like. Pull it aside, okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, a little bit more. One, two, three. Okay, a little bit more. One, two, three. Alright. Oh, you're gonna. What? It's gonna fall. One, two. Okay. Okay, now I'm trying to pull, I'm holding this. I'm, I hope this thing doesn't crush me. I'm holding this to pull that pedal down with me. Problem is that now this piece of wood right there, it takes the space the wheels it won't align, so I have to like pull this thing a little bit over this side. Bang that freaking thing in a little oh bit. My gosh. Give some room. Put the wheel in. Push, push the bobby pin in. Now we got the wheel in place. Now that we have the wheel in place, maybe you can try to bring this thing down. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's an engineer for sure. Instead of us pulling backward, because more space required for us to drag backward, she said, just, you know, remove some of these stuff right here, push the wheel forward, and roll off a little, like a sled. This thing is like... Nice to nail that. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's out. Push out forward, okay? One, two, three, one minute. Was it glue something else now? One, two, three. What the hell? I think we have our own way of doing things and utilize whatever you have available at your house, at your locations. I'm happy to have some pavers. I'm gonna use paver at the driveway to lift these wheels up. Hopefully that will work. You need to make rope for this thing. Right there. Let me bring more papers in. We just utilize what we have. <laughs> I don't know what you got at your house or how you do to get this thing out of freaking. Oh my gosh. Freaking <laughs> pallets. But I'm gonna use my own engineering to lift this thing out of tripping pallets. I say theoretically. <laughs> I didn't say you guarantee. Okay, then, how about you lift it up that end? Okay, stay, stay, stay. <laughs> okay, I'll lift this thing up and remove the paddle, okay? Go, pull the paddle up. Which way, my dear? Which way, underneath my leg.
Theoretically. Now, baby. Yeah. Uh, set two papers. Set two papers behind the wheel. Okay. Now remove those papers in the back. One down. All of them. All of them. No, no, no. Remove, oh. remove the one in the back. Yeah, right there. Align with the wheel in the back. Align. Put one underneath the wheel behind the wheel. Yeah, right there. Behind the wheel. Stand on the other side too. Oh. And now I'm going to roll down the side. Wow! Finally! <laughs> Finally! The ingenuity! <laughs> High five, baby. High five. That was hard work. That was annoying. Hard work. We learn together as a newbie. Uh, I'm so cold. Newbie. I'm so cold. I'm tired. Yeah. This was annoying. Well, baby, we got this thing out of the way. I think you got a splinter somehow. I don't know. It is awesome. Let but me see how. Try it. Try, try and push around. Can you lift it up? It's heavy, right? It is, but it's, it's no joke. But it's doable. But imagine pushing the grass though, because I think yeah. ideally I'm gonna put this in the back. Yeah. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the entertainment part of this video, not for on purpose, <laughs> like, subscribe, and follow us for more video in the future. I hope you guys have a good day and happy new year. Yes. Bye. Peace out. As a result of this work, <laughs> Danielle is going to her house. <laughs> Bye, baby. Let me close you up. It's a one bedroom <laughs> condo. Where's the bed? Here. <laughs> Bathroom here. Kitchen Bye. here. Let me, let me build some paper, make some door for you. Okay? <laughs> I'll build a door for you. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> There's a door for you, baby. <laughs> this is nice. It looks very comfy. It does. Right? Can I put some blankets? Can I fit two people? It's a one bedroom. Get out of here. We can make two people. Let me try. Let me see if you can fit in there. I. I want to go in here too. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh my. Hold on. Oh, look. Hi guys. Welcome to our house. We are here. <laughs> oh, we can turn this into like a dog house. A dog house. Skippy and Snowflake. Yes, and then we can close the box up, tape it up, and ship to a different <gasps> country. No. <laughs> it's so comfortable in here. To be honest with you. It is. Like imagine that like snow all around us and we like in a little igloo like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't this great? Bye. Oh, so good. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> Baby, let's make out. Ew. <laughs>